You are watching Global Daily Mirror News Alert. The Armed Forces of the Philippines eyes to tap fishermen to be part of the reserve force. AFP Chief of Staff General Romeo Bronner Jr. said the country is developing its reserve force to further strengthen its presence in the West Philippine Sea. In a press briefing at the Western Command Headquarters in Puerto Princesa City on Thursday, Bronner said they will train fisher folks. The reserve units have been established but are still waiting for the vessels and platforms to be used. Meanwhile, an association of fishermen in Pagas Island on Friday opened post such plans. Pagas Island Fisher Folk Association President Larry Hugo said in an interview that they would rather only report any untoward incident in the area and also express refusal in carrying firearms. The said group operates 36 fishing boats in the waters of Pagasa. Meanwhile, there are over 400 foreign vessels within the Philippines' exclusive economic zone in the West Philippine Sea as of August 9. Chief of the Armed Forces of the Philippines Western Command reports there are 85% of these are Chinese vessels based on the West Coast monitoring. Vice Admiral Alberto Carlos told reporters at a press briefing in Palawan on Wednesday, at Mischief Brief alone there are already 191 Chinese vessels, while for the EEZ West Coast area, 400. 85% are Chinese. As for today's weather, the southwest monsoon or Haing Habagat continues to affect most parts of the country. Meanwhile, according to Pagasa, a low-pressure area had developed within the country's area of responsibility. The weather system is directly affecting portions of Visayas and Mindanao. The LPA was last located this morning at 310 kilometers east of Borongan City, eastern Samar. The LPA and the southwest monsoon will bring cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms over Visayas, Mindanao, Catanduanes, Sorsogon, Albay, Masbate, and the northern portion of Palawan. Meanwhile, Metro Manila and the rest of the country will have fair weather condition with possible isolated rain showers or thunderstorms. Robert Arevalo dies at 85. Veteran actor Robert Arevalo has passed away Thursday morning. He was 85 years old. His daughter Anna Ilagan shared the sad news in a Facebook post saying that the actor died peacefully at 10.17 a.m. on Thursday, August 10. He appeared in several acclaimed films including Hubad na Bayani, which she also directed, and Dahil sa Isang Bulaklak, for which he was also recognized as an associate director. And that's the latest for this hour. For more updates, follow and subscribe to our social media accounts on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, and visit www.globaldailymirror.com. This has been Ice Martinez. Good day.